Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The Big Brother Ninja Season 6 Shine Your Eyes Edition continues and guess what, right? Tega and Boma kissed last night. How did this all start? How did they get to this point? So yesterday, we saw Boma and Tega and Liko Rose in a conversation on The Guardian. And of course, Tega was telling us about the audition experience. And while she was talking about it, she said that, you know, they asked her during the auditions that, see, if you get back outside of the show, if you leave the show and you get home and your husband says he doesn't want to continue with the marriage, what are you going to do? And she said, well, you know, well, she was the one with the fame and she was the one with everything. When they asked me for shots, what if you go outside and your husband says he's not married again? I said, talk. Let me get the face. Let me get everything. And then at night, the housemates had a truth or death session. I mean, 15 people out for evictions, so they literally just probably had to do that to just calm the whole, you know, tension and calm the whole nerves down. And then it got to a point, they were asked to kiss. Boma and Tega were asked to French kiss. And guess what? They French kissed for 10 seconds. Well, we remember that when Saga sucked her titties, it was her husband who came out and said, you know, come on, leave my woman alone. I mean, if she's an actor, wouldn't she do worse than that in a movie and all of that, that they don't have a problem and all of that. But here is another one that she's done. She's French kissed Boma for 10 seconds. And guess what? We've already seen the fact, you know, Boma and Tega have been having like a bit of moments all the while, right? Is that they're sleeping in each other's bed or they're trying to do things together? I think Boma also said it at some point that if not because Tega is married, if not because of the fact that she has a marriage clause on her, he would go for Tega. Moving on to my next year, Saga and Nini are on the fire. So yesterday, after the head of house challenge, right? You know, people that gave um, the new head of house, Jay Paul and uh, Jackie B, a movie date. But before that happened, right, before they went for the movie date, Big Brother called a lounge meeting. And then Big Brother asked Lee Corose and Peace to stand up and tell the whole house why they were barred from the head of house lounge. And you remember that during Maria's time, Lee Corose and Peace went into the head of house lounge. I think they were invited by Maria. And at that point, Big Brother had not given anybody the license to go into the head of house lounge, right? So they were barred for two weeks. We went in there uninvited. You were yet to grant um, the permission to invite guests into the house to um, the head of house. We broke the rules of the head of house lounge. And then we see Saga and Nini. In this scenario, what happened was this. They took time to leave the head of house lounge. You know that there's going to be a new head of house. And then you guys are still there. Even after the head of house lounge, you guys have not left the place. You delayed the new people from checking into the lounge. Because I was also wondering, I was seeing Jackie be downstairs. I was seeing um, Jay Paul. And I was wondering, what's wrong with these guys? Why are these guys not in the lounge? And guess what? It was because Saga and Nini had delayed them from getting into the lounge. Good. To wait till a new head of house was crowned before leaving the head of house lounge, thereby making the incumbents await your departure. In all honesty, as much as I do not blame people, as much as I do not really, really have opinions, as much as I leave the opinions to you guys, I'm going to have an opinion on this. I think that Saga did not take the lead here. Saga has lost his focus, and that's a honest truth. I see it on social media. A lot of people say Saga has won his own 90 million. I mean, it's Nini, they've added on to it, it's becoming his own 90 Nini. And I'm wondering, you're the guy here, you should take charge. You have a woman with you, you're supposed to be the leader here. So as soon as you know that there's going to be a new head of house, before the head of house came, sweep the place. That's what Boma does, that's what Perry and Marie, uh, that's what they did rather. And that's what they did over time, before the new people come on board, they've cleaned it, they've swept it, they've made the place conducive for the next person to come in. But these guys, I don't know what's wrong with them. Moving on to my next gist. In this conversation happening, right, we see Sasuke and Cross. And what were they talking about? They naturally weren't talking about love at this point. Of course, they've spoken about love over time. And here we hear Sasuke telling Cross that, what's up? I really feel like going home. She feels like she wants to live the show. And she's going to use this week to prepare. I think that sometimes when you're in the show, you probably just want to say, you know what? In the long run, all of us are going to leave the house. And because we're halfway into the show, some people will begin to feel some type of way. When you look at everybody in the house, and you're looking at the fact that you might not necessarily be a strong contender. So probably what's the point of you waiting until the end of the show? And here we see her telling Cross that she's ready to live the show. And she's going to use this week to get ready. I love this person. I love I, uh, I don't want to go obviously, but I'm ready, I think. 
I'll use this week to prepare myself. Moving on to my next is Jackie B and J Paul won the head of house, right? And like you remember, there's no deputy head of house. Both of them are heads of house. And both of them have to work together. They have to stay in the lounge. And of course, they have immunity from evictions on Sunday. So here we see her telling the guys in the garden that, you know what? She decided that she was really going to go dirty to make sure that she won the head of house. And we could really see that her determination paid off. Because yeah, I'm actually no longer putting in efforts into anything like I did today. Wow. Still on Jacoby, during the truth or death session, right, we saw Michael, and Michael was dead by cross to pick a lady, right, and, you know, show his favorite sex position, and guess what, Michael was like, come on, that's easy, right, and then he picked Jacoby and showed us. Show her your favorite sex position. Oh. Easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Finally, I'm going to leave you with this video of Emmanuel and Likoro. So Likoro was trying to leave the guy's room, right? When Emmanuel was not going to have her leave the guy's room, he carried his girl and put her back in bed. Uh-uh. Carry me. Carry me. Carry me back. That's the name I'm going well, back. Wait, are you trying to leave the room? Yes, I'm trying to put to the ladies' room. Finally, before I leave, I'd like you to please like this video. If you watched this video, like this video, turn on your notification bells, share it to your friends, share it to your WhatsApp groups, people who want to watch videos and all of that. And I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok. And follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time, I'll come with you very soon. It's bye for now.